your weekly in-depth view of agriculture up close. This is In the Field. Presented by Gordon's Feed and Pet. From popping them in fresh to jams, jelly, smoothies, or cobblers, we all have our favorite use for the blackberry. It's summertime in the Ozarks, and that means berry time. We're here at Hummingbird Berry Farm in Brighton, Missouri, to hone in on our blackberry picking skills. Well, my husband and I both had long careers in something other than farming. <laughs> About eight years ago, we bought our farm. Mm -hmm. We bought the property here in Brighton. And after we both left those long-term careers, we wanted to keep busy. We wanted to do something else. Yeah. We'd always wanted to have a farm. As we started looking into the options of what we might, how we might utilize the property, mm -hmm. uh, we attended some different conferences, like Missouri Organic Conference. We attended uh, other things. And we met during that time pe period uh, Patrick Byers uh -huh. with the University of Missouri Extension. Patrick talked to us about blackberries, as he has to others, and talked to us about how there was a need in Missouri for more blackberry production. And then he helped us through some different training that the University of Missouri uh -huh. Extension had and other research that we did. Uh, settle upon that that would be a good option for the use of the farm. We want families and others to be able to come out, enjoy the farm, have time together, uh, perhaps have some cooking classes to teach people how to uh, make jams, jellies, mm -hmm. cobblers, uh, and utilize the property to learn in addition to how to pick fruit, how to utilize that fruit. Well, I want to talk more about those, but first, I think that uh, Harper and I want to learn about picking blackberries. I'd love to teach you Because I believe that you, you, uh, the families that come in, you're, you're teaching them proper and, and skills, and they're learning every step of the way. Yes, that's what we do. And I've never picked a blackberry. Well, well in the wild, but never <laughs> properly, probably. Yes, and I promise you, we do not have the thorns on oh, these good. berries that you get in the wild. Okay, good. So. You cultivated those they, off. They are thornless. <laughs> okay, good. Good deal. As we walk over and we look at these berries, we have them trellised up so that most of these berries are going to be on this side facing us. Okay. And you can see that they're all different colors that mm -hmm. are in here. But again, we start talking about black berries. So you look and you see, all right, obviously we don't want these. Mm -hmm. That's an obvious. Which ones do you think are ripe, Harper? The black one. Oh, <laughs> that's right, a black one. The really, really, really sweet berries mm -hmm. that are fully ripe and are ready to drop off by themselves. Mm -hmm. Those berries often, instead of having a really shiny finish like some of the newer berries do, mm -hmm. like this one, they'll, they'll start to have just a little bit of dull in it. See, others, that one's not quite as shiny mm -hmm. as the others. So that one should come off in my hand. Don't make a fool of me here. There we go. <laughs> So during the summer months is peak blackberry yes. season. Yes. Where can locals in the surrounding areas go to learn more about uh, berry picking, blackberry picking, but your farm? All right, two places really where most of the information about the farm. We have a web page, mm -hmm. uh, which is hummingbirdberryfarm.com. So very simple. Uh, very simple. Uh, and there, there are tips. All of the tips that we talked about are there. Plus, a resource for them to go back yes, to if exactly, they forgot. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And in addition, we have our Facebook page that uh, has many of the information, much of the information, plus just updated information on the days if, uh, that we're open, those type of things, so that people can go there. Plus, just uh, some posts about what's happening on the farm as well, then, and a link back mm -hmm. to the website. Keeping them informed about what you're doing throughout the other nine months when you're not yes, open exactly, for blackberries. Exactly, exactly, and what what to expect, and especially as we begin again the future planning for the, some right. of those continuing education items. Then.